Hey everyone and welcome back to another track guide video. Today we are back and doing the Hungara ring today, which is of course the Hungarian Grand Prix track. And, uh, well, brief description, it's very t uh, tight and twisty track, sometimes described as Monaco without the barriers or just a massive go-karting track. But let's go through into the in-depth analysis. So starting the lap, you can go up wide, but also make sure to cut back to the racing line because you may not be able to see it, but there is actually a slight banking uh, where the racing line is. So you can go out wide initially, but uh, to get the best exit, cut back to the racing line um, around here, maybe, and then put a, maybe a short shift to fifth um, to give you better traction, and then onto this straight. Brilliant. The only op overtaking opportunity, really. Um, for turn one, you can use this entry curb in the game but you wouldn't do this in real life uh, simply because the angle is just wrong um, and doesn't work with the car uh, so into this corner, third gear um, you can use this curb, I think in real life I'm not sure uh, if they use it or not but I can tell you that in the game you can get away with using a bit of it but it's not exactly the fastest way around neither is using this curb on the exit you can get away with using a bit once again but in real life, uh, I'm sure that they actually, uh, they actually, well, there is actually a concrete bit in between this red and white uh, section and the astroturf. It's on the screen right now, and so uh, that's how it would work. Um, going on to this straight, you could open the RS a bit later because um, it tends to, you basically open it when you get uh, the traction fully. Um, when the rear tires fully grip up, but you may have just seen there, um, into this downhill left-hander, you would put the brake bias backwards a little bit because it's very easy to lock the inside front. Uh, so to prevent that, you could you would put the brake bias backwards. Anyway, you'd use the in entry curb in the game, not in real life, and then you just carry it through, not using that curb, and then on the exit here, you'd go as wide as you can because uh, you can just simply carry so much more speed and these cars nowadays have definitely enough downforce to be able to make this uh, right hand kink of turn 3 easy flat so that's uh, no issue at all put the brake bias forward again uh, for this bit because it's a little bit more uphill now turn 4 you would you would use this entry curb like I said again in the game uh, pretty much for every corner here but uh, not in real life in real life you'd um, for the apex use this curb uh, right here a little bit um, in real life, uh, sorry that's in real life <laughs> in the game you would basically use all of it uh, up to the track limit um, and for the exit here uh, ba basically the same in real life and the game just use all of the exit space uh, up to the track limit but of course don't invalidate if you go over the white line uh, so fourth gear through this right hander gets close to the curb as possible but you do not want to touch that you you do not you just don't because it will just instantly spin you out when you touch it so it's a deadly place to to go um, for there and then use all of this exit space up to the track limits once again um, do I need to say this again okay I'll do it uh, in the game you would use this entry curb IRL you don't so third gear here um, use it uh, use these curbs uh, as much as possible up to the sausage curb um, in real life it's slightly different but there are sausage curbs as well um, so you just take it as far as possible there was uh, something on the screen that you would have seen of real life at that chicane um, you'd use all of that exit up to this corner fifth gear carry it through um, use the curb fourth gear um, downshift here and then once again same thing use the curbs um, exit as well um, into this corner you would be well either in sixth or seventh um, you'd be at the top of the red re rev range in sixth um, which is where I would keep it because um, then you won't have to worry about downshifting for this right hander and also well technically you don't have to downshift um, you could just keep it in seventh but I, can, I have it in sixth because it gives you the extra torque that you might need so for this right hander um, use the curb in the game, not in real life. And then 
use that apex curb, you've all of the exit space up to the white line. Um, into this left hander, or very, very slow um, left hand uh, sort of hairpin thing. Um, third gear, carry it through, get as close to the white thing at the apex. Now, it's roll reversal here, because on the exit, don't use this curb in real, uh, sorry, in the game, uh, because it's too rough and it, it just slows you down. But in real life, it's not like that. Um, it's a lot smoother, so you can actually use all of it in real life. So, interesting that there's a roll reversal there. And then final corner, get as close to that apex as possible, and then that is a lap at Hungary. So, now we're going to move into the hot lap, where I'll be using all of the realistic methods, uh, including not using entry curbs, for example, um, but using that exit curve right here. So, <laughs> let's have a look at the lap. So that was a lap at Hungary, um, perhaps the most I could have got out of there using the real life sort of um, rules that I mentioned in this video. So that was just shy of the 13, um, it was a 14-0, but either way, still a, a decent lap sort of, but anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video or found it useful. If you did, please make sure to give it a like. and want to see more content like this then subscribe to the channel and the next track guide will be spa uh, in belgium that'll be for four weeks though because there is that summer break um in between this and the next grand prix so it'll be a while but until the next video uh, i'll see you guys next time